Attitude is everything when faced with the challenge of breast cancer. Now surviving it, it takes courage and it takes strength. My next guest this morning, she was full of that during her battle with the disease. She's surviving, she's thriving, and she's helping other victims and survivors now do the same. Joyce, thank you so much for being here with me today. Thank you for having us and helping us get our word out. Of course, it's important it to get the word out, ex much. especially for our viewers to hear from breast cancer survivors like yourself. Now, Joyce, you received news in 2011 that you had breast cancer. Yes, and when I was doing a yearly mammogram, <coughs> excuse me, in 2011, October, um, they found something suspicious and I had to go back for a couple more tests and a um, biopsy. And in January the 2nd, 2012, I had a lump removed. I, um, they put in a, I think it's a pretty new device, they put in a balloon and they sent the radiation up through the balloon. The, um, I had to go five days, twice a day for radiation and uh, everything's fine. Mm -hmm. Go for my yearly or uh, mammogram still mm -hmm. and uh, so breast cancer when caught early is very survivable mm -hmm. and we need to get the message out to all the uh, women and men out there to pay attention and get your yearly mammograms and you'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Now Joyce you're a positive person was it hard for you though to say positive during this experience? Um, no I have my faith and I I was actually going through, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> I'm sorry, the presidential preference primary. I actually missed one day of work, the day of the surgery. I was back to work. I worked uh, all five days that I got the radiation. Mm -hmm. it, um, it's, I think I was raised by a farmer who said, mm -hmm. uh, I felt sorry for myself because I had no shoes till I met the man who had no feet. And there's a lot of people out there who have it a lot worse than I do and you are taken care of. There's so many people that take really good care of you and the doctors are very knowledgeable and the disease is um, very curable if you catch it early. And that's, that's what we need to get out. We need everybody out there to talk to their mothers and their daughters and their cousins and their people they work with and ask them, have you had a mammogram? You know, we're raised to not really talk about our dirty laundry per se mm -hmm. and it so it is very difficult to go out there and say well I had cancer but it was something I told myself I have to get over because I want people to get their mammograms and I want them to survive and mm -hmm. it's it's easily done I don't like it when people say oh I'm scared I'm scared to get a mammogram I don't want to know if I have breast cancer right that's such a silly comment to me it is it is because you can survive but um, go with a friend I've mm -hmm. taken a couple of friends you mm -hmm. know go with a friend, hold their hand, mm -hmm. get it done. Um, my mother goes with a couple of her friends, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, they just make it, you know, a luncheon. Mm -hmm. Go get their mammograms and have lunch. And, <laughs> and it's a Make an afternoon out of it's it. It's <laughs> a, a real girl's day, a yeah. real girl's day. Absolutely. Support is key. And now, Joyce, you are such a cancer warrior. For, I, for so many other people. I don't like the word survivor. Survivor sounds like something you were washed up on the beach. Mm -hmm. People that fight through cancer are warriors and we fight and we can do our battle because we have so much help out there. We have so many people like yourself. You could have been uh, interviewing anybody, but you chose to give this segment to breast cancer to pass the word. Um, people out there that stop and get a cupcake from a bake sale or if you go and you walk Relay for Life, that's time that you're giving. You know, nobody, everybody can make as much money as they want. Donald Trump could make all the money. There is no law that says you can't make any more money. Bill Gates can keep making money and keep making money, but only God gives time. Mm -hmm. And every time somebody stops and they give somebody 50 cents for a cupcake or they walk Relay for Life or whatever they're doing to help they are giving me that time because only God gives time mm -hmm. and it's very precious and mm -hmm. without that so many of us would not be here today. Absolutely. So I have to thank all the volunteers out there up and down the Keys. I've been to 
uh, every one of the Relay for Lives, and it's, it will make you cry, and it does. You can always tell a first-year person because they, they can't make it through the first walk crying, and it, you're, not, you're crying mostly because there's so much support there to help you, mm -hmm. and it really does mean a lot. It does. Joyce, there's a lot of upcoming events for the American Cancer Society, and again, you're very actively involved in it. Tell me about one of your big events that you're going to be doing. Well, right now we have um, Strides is coming up. It's a bre it's for breast cancer. It's uh, October the 12th, mm -hmm. and we have registration starting at seven o'clock um, at Higgs Beach. And if you're a, a survivor, you can come on out. And there's a survivor breakfast, and they give survivors T-shirts and it's it's showing the world that we're not alone and we're mm -hmm. we got to keep it in the forefront because you know it's the squeaky wheel that gets you know we want congress to keep uh funding research mm -hmm. it has gone so far like i said they they put in a balloon and sent my radiation up through the balloon instead of shooting radiation through the breast and making mm -hmm. the whole breast hard so it's just it's the the technology and mm -hmm. the cures are so wonderful now. We got to keep going. We, we got to finish do. the fight. Absolutely. We got to finish that fight. Absolutely. And that can be done, finishing the fight. Oh, yes. Uh, every dollar raised for the American Cancer Society that goes towards that. And, yeah. and the American Cancer Society, I love the organization because the goal, of course, is to create a world. Without with, cancer. Without cancer. And, we, and it's touched us all. Every one of us knows people that have either died or are fighting the fight now, warriors, mm -hmm. warriors that are fighting that. And it is a, it's a fight. Absolutely. And just keep, just keep this, the faith going and keep the, let's finish this fight. Let's get it done. Mm -hmm. Let's get cancer off of the radar altogether. Absolutely. Joyce, thank you so much for being here with me this morning and sharing your story with thank the viewers. Thank you. Thank you very much and thank you for all you do for us. Of course. All right, I'm going to take a quick break right now. I'll be right back after these messages. There's more to come this morning, so stay with me.